Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be reviewing the new for 2023 Lowe's Leatherface animatronic. Now, um, before I get into this review, you probably aren't going to see much of his full body because he is absolutely massive. Uh, if I can compare him to like Beetlejuice here, like you can see he absolutely dwarfs these other licensed characters that I have in the background. So um, let's just get right into this review. So number one, he comes in a pretty large box, but it's really flat. So storing him shouldn't be too bad. Definitely not like the other, the Jimmy Lowe's props that they made in the last couple years that have big cube, cubic boxes. Um, so when it comes to like his detail, I really, really like this face mold. I do think the paint job could be a little bit better. Like I wish she kind of had actual eyes behind there. Maybe not even like super detailed eyes, but just you know, a little bit of an eye down back there to show that he's, you know, still as human in him. But uh, I think they did a really good job with this wig. And I think the mask in general looks pretty good. Now he is made of plastic, which is both good and bad. It's good because you can store him outside and you don't have to worry about his face exploding. But it's also kind of bad because, you know, it doesn't get as much detail like these stitches and stuff. Those are just superficial. It's not like actual, actually molded on like you could do with latex. Um, when it comes to his outfit, I think they did a really, really good job with this outfit. Um, to start, he, I mean, his shoes are pretty generic, obviously. They're just, um, like normal SVI prop boots. But I really love this apron and, like, the blood stain pattern on it. Um, I think they did a good job of making it look natural. Like, some of the blood is, like, more concentrated. Some of it's, you know, clearly it's been, like, wiped on before. Um... And then his chainsaw right here has some pretty good details on it. Um, I really like all the blood splatter. I do have to say the chainsaw looks super plasticky and that's something that I wish they would have fixed on this prop because it's made out of hollow plastic. Um, the good thing about it being made out of hollow plastic is that I'm sure if you replace this blade, you could get in there and make these chains move, like just get one of those Jimmy moving chains. And I think him with the moving chainsaw would actually be terrifying. Um, the tie is good. It's really, really low quality material. But I mean, it looks like the tie from the movie. So that's what matters, right? He does have a sensor right here on the tie. So they did a good job of hiding it. But the problem is that it's literally hidden. Like, because when you let that hang down, it's going to cover that sensor. And that's a motion sensor. So I'm not sure if you want to use him on sensor anyway. You know, that kind of sucks. Um, his arms, uh, they look a lot better in person. I have to say in video, they looked really plasticky, but in real life, it's a lot more convincing that it's a human. I think, especially if you put them in low lighting, cause obviously in a haunted house, you're not going to have fluorescent light shining on them, but they're really well sculpted. And just in general, his body looks really good. Like these look like actual, actual human arms, even though they're not, you can see they put like details of the biceps and stuff in there. Now the shoulders. They're a little bit flawed. Um, I wish they would have given him a better like shoulder, a shoulder piece or something so that it doesn't do this. But um, I'm sure you can fix it on your own uh, with just a little bit of time and work. Um, and then here's his other arm. Now, what I don't like about these arms is these, these random blood stains. Like I get you want to make it look like he had, you know, he's been like cutting people up, but then why wouldn't you use this, this blood pattern on the arms? So um, that's definitely one thing I think they could have improved on this prop. Um, and like I said, he is, he is absolutely gigantic. I don't even know if he's actually six and a half feet tall. He might be, he really comes to about like my height, but compare him to like the Wicked Witch in the back and you can just see how wide and how large of an animatronic this really is. Um, the stance is really cool in real life too. It looks like he's like about to attack you with this chainsaw. So let's go ahead and show a demo of what he does. I know we've all seen the Mr. Punchy rotating animation, but it is pretty cool in real life. Um, and actually one thing before we get into there, this is a massively like wide prop from front to back. I would say from the tip of his chainsaw here all the way to him, that's at least a solid like four foot. So this prop takes up a lot of space. And that's one thing you'll have to consider. I know a lot of people love having licensed characters to display them. And I don't necessarily know if this is a good character to display in your room or something, just because of the fact that he almost takes up my whole room right here. So let's go ahead and show what he does. And he does come with the try me button. 
and batteries. I would say take out the batteries if you're going to use the adapter because he comes with an adapter too. I don't know why they included an adapter and batteries and the batteries are pre-installed because to me that just suggests that like if you plug him in he's gonna fry because he already has those batteries in there so if you're gonna use the adapter make sure to remove those batteries first. So that's what he does. Um, I know on video, the Mr. Punching animation looks pretty stupid on him. I have to say in real life, it looks a lot better. I like the way he rotates in such a way that like the chainsaw actually swings around. And I think in real life with the chainsaw movement, it's actually pretty scary. Um, if you could get a moving chain on here, it would be like absolutely terrifying, I think, especially in like a narrow haunted house because it looks like he's about to chainsaw you. But this is a really impressive animatronic in real life, I think. I mean, he's just utterly huge and he looks terrifying. And so I would have to say, um, for his price, I think he's decent. If you compare him to like the Reagan that Sphere Halloween made last year, they're both the same price, except for this animatronic is a lot more detailed and it does a lot better of a job representing the character it's supposed to represent. And they both only had one animation and one of them's huge. So I think the price is okay. It could definitely be lower, like $250. But for the size of this animatronic and for the just utter amount of detail and work that they've clearly put into him, I think uh, $280 is not too bad of a price. And I believe he's available online right now unless he's already sold out. But yeah, I would definitely recommend you buy this guy if you're interested. Um, we also have the Party City version coming out, which the Party City one looks really good. But from what I've heard, it's a static and it's $325. So... Um, it is a little bit better looking than this one, but I don't know if I'd want to pay, you know, you know, $45 more for a version of this guy that does nothing. But yeah, um, a really good animatronic, I would say on like a rating scale, maybe about a four out of five. So yeah, if you are interested in a leather face, I definitely say pick this guy up and then maybe hold out to see if Party City or Spirit Halloween does something good. And Lowe's does 90 day returns. So if you buy him and then the spirit one ends up being a lot better then you can just return them and buy the spirit one but then that way you're guaranteed to get a leather face animatronic no matter what so yeah that's it for this video thank you guys for watching